and release party. So what I mean when I say I coordinated it, I mean, I found the promoter, I found the club, you know what I'm saying? I found out how much Vaughn won't, and I put it all together. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. This was his album release party for Welcome to O Block that was released on Halloween 2020. Yeah. So let me just break this down to you from my perspective, right? Yeah. Uh, as we talked about earlier, King Vaughn had a crazy reputation of you know, being a being a street gangster, right? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? For doing a lot of street shit. Fear. Yeah. Um, so when I was a DJ for the short period of time in which I was, I used to be like nervous as fuck before all his sets. You know what I'm saying? I used to be nervous, I ain't wanna fuck up. Cause I don't know what this nigga do if I fuck up. You know what I'm saying? I don't want him to spaz on me, you know what I mean? Like exactly what you mean. He was a very intimidated person, I'm gonna tell you that. Yeah. When he walk in the room, you feel his presence, for sure. Mm -hmm. For sure. I had to make sure I was on top of my game for that shit. But when it came to his, the night of his album release party, brother, the day I woke up, it just felt, it felt crazy. Like, it just felt different. It felt gloomy. Like, you know what I'm saying? I don't know if I was nervous, excited, anxious or what, but I just had like a, like a, like a, like a, like a, like a big knot in my stomach. Yeah. Okay, this the morning of. Yeah. Okay. Now, let me share with this with you, right? So like I said, I'm coordinating it. So I'm in tune with the promoter. He calling me every five minutes. He's so motherfucking nervous, you know what I'm saying? Now, he wants me to come down to the club and help him decorate, like put the King Von posters up. He wants to put posters of King Von all throughout the club. He has some O-Block balloons he wants to put up because this one we promote and welcome to O-Block. Yeah. Now, all right, cool. I was, I, was, I was reluctant to help this man decorate this club. And the reason why I was, reluct was reluctant to help him is because before I DJ for King Von, I used to DJ for an artist named Cowboy. I'm with the gang, I'm with the mob, what was you thinking? Yes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That was like the biggest song of 2018, 2019, right? Nice. I lost Cowboy job the night in which I had spent the whole morning blasting cowboy pictures all across the south side of Chicago. And by, that, by the end of that night, I was no longer cowboy DJ. I had lost my job. I was sad, I was fucked up, I was depressed. So when, so, so when the promoter was asking me to help him post these King Von posters, I instantly thought about the cowboy shit. I'm like, man, last time I helped a motherfucker post some posters, shit. That was the last time I heard from him. Yeah. That was the last time I worked for him. Yeah. I'm like, eh. Yeah. Let's not repeat that. I don't know. Damn. But you know what? Come on, bro. You go, you, 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 you steady asking me, and I know, you know what I'm saying? You trying to get this shit done. Come on, bro. And that's just me. I'm going to always be a, I right, fucking come on ass nigga. That's just me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If, if I got the time and the power to do it, I'm going to help out. So I say, I have to say, man, I help dude post them put them pictures up in the club, put all the posters up, the old block balloons, all that shit. I help him decorate that shit. You know what I'm saying? And um, so for things to turn out the way they turned out, and with me sharing what I just shared with y'all, how y'all think I feel after that shit? Oh man, I'm paying but it, but, but, but it opened my eyes and it showed me, bro, trust your gut, bro, trust your intuition, bro. You're not tweaking when it comes to your life, bro. Yeah. You're not tweaking, bro. You know what the fuck going on around you, bro. You know what I'm saying? Pay attention to the energy around you. Pay attention to the vibrations around you. Pay attention when God talking to you. There you go. 